All right, we're going to go ahead and add a uh, pickup item back into the scene again. That way we have it with uh, default values here. And on the pickup coin, let's go back into the properties. We'll go into the next one. So this is going to be the attractor setting, meaning that um, the distance uh, the player gets to the pickup item, if he triggers it, it'll start to move towards it. So very similar to the bomb, if you've seen that one, the settings are all going to be the same for those in terms of how they react to the player. If we enable the attractor, we have an option that is a constant follow. So if you actually touch the uh, the trigger range, no, whether you're in it or out of it after that point, the coin will continue to try to follow you. Um, we could go ahead and put that one on to see it. The look at means that it's going to rotate around in terms of the like the the word. It's going to turn in circles as it tries to follow you. If you have it off, it'll stay squared up with you back and forth and up and down. Um, speed and turn speed and rotate speed, those are all going to affect how fast this goes and then how, how quickly it rotates. All right, so let's go ahead and go to our uh, pickup attractor range. So currently it's right here, but let's go ahead and make this a little bit uh, bigger on the left side. That way it'll start moving towards the player a little quicker here. Okay, and then the other option as well is that once it starts moving to the player, remember that the trigger point um, is going to be uh, this one. So we'll have we'll have the trigger, the attractor range out to here, but then the the thing that actually will trigger the pickup uh, is going to be this size. So if you want to make sure. You might want to have it a little bit smaller if you want, just to represent closer to the touch. Um, you could even go really small, similar to this. If you want the if you want the player to feel like he's going into the coin before the coin actually is picked up, so you can kind of change it up uh, on that side, just depending on how you're wanting to work with it. And. We'll place this one in and uh, test out the attractor, and then we'll do one extra on one on it to see the uh, another option with it. So notice it's got the uh, so it came down to the bottom and then came up through there. Um, when it when it was going around, it was also doing the constant follow plus it was doing the uh, uh, the look at. So it had this following me uh, constantly even though it was outside the range of the trigger box uh, outside of the range of the uh, attractor box plus it was doing the look at so it was rotating around all right so this can be the basic part of that one just as a one little extra element here is that if you had the attractor on this and you did delay on pickup um, when you do it this way when the coin comes up to you um, it's not going to instantly uh, go, but it is going to have to stay in that, that area to stay picked up. So for instance, it'll come back and forth because what it's trying to do is wait for that two seconds and then happen. All right. So there we go. Just a couple of different ways you can use the attractor uh, with a coin, with a pickup, and even using it through the uh, delay side.